here we are at Fantastic Caverns. Discovered it was discovered by Juno the Bloodhound. Oh, sweet little Juno. Wow, that's great to know. Yeah, I see it. Right there, right there. Right there, right there. Wow. I feel warm now. You feel warm now? Oh. Whoa, look at that. Okay. Here because after that, Can you reach please it? do not touch the rocks, the stones before. Yeah. Wow. Cool. It's very exciting. It feels like a wet rock. <laughs> it does feel like a wet rock. Exactly like one, in fact. Wow. That's a thick column, huh? See the water dripping? It's continuing to form all those stalactites. Welcome to Fantastic Caverns. Uh, we're considered a solution cave, which means, of course, that we were created by water. Kind of have to imagine it was an underground river, a spring that flowed through here, creating the cave here. Now they're called soda straws. You can tell right here they're hollow down the middle, just like a drinking straw. But they're also baby stalactites. So mm -hmm. they're going to keep growing, and someday they're going to be just like their big brothers and sisters hanging tight on the ceiling, stalactites. Oh, at the bottom <laughs> of the bluff, Mr. Knox went to check on his dog. He'd never seen that hole before, and he got up there and realized he better go check on his dog. He got a ladder. He crawled through that hole, went about 30 feet on his belly before he realized, hey, I've got enough room to stand up. That's when Mr. Knox figured out that his old dog had just let him into a new cave. Calcite. Every drop of water that falls has calcite in it. Lands about the same spot time after time. That's what those little ring circles are. Do you see water. We've got dust on the surface right now. And those piles of white are calcite. Someday that could become a slide. It might. It they might. might. <laughs> 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 No idea. <laughs> but our, at least 82. I mean, our official tour guide Probably handbook says that they are very, very old. You think centuries? Yeah, centuries old. Hundreds. <laughs> hundreds you could hundreds be right because we don't know. Now, straight ahead, you've got those curtains, mm -hmm. and you'll notice a pearl white column starting to peek out. Uh -huh. Now, that's a little unusual being pearl white. But as we go by, look in between the curtain and the column, back in behind it, it looks like a pile of snow. Oh, cool. It's a dome of yeah. white calcite. Of course, that's slow stuff coming down that snow. Mm -hmm. Now, your curtain, your column. Wow. I'll line up, look in between. Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Now then, you ready? Yep. Yeah. It does look like it. Just as you pass this column, look between the column and the wall. It looks like ice. It does. All right, the 12 young ladies. <laughs> and they were the first to explore the cave. Of course, they did the same thing we would do. They left their names on the wall. Uh. <laughs> but when the girls came through, it was dark in here. Whoa. There wasn't any cave light. And all the girls had were candles and lanterns. you got to imagine, this is kind of how they saw the cave. <laughs> wow. 20 years later, we finally put in a little generator 
powered by a steam engine, and it provided electricity for the Thomas Edison type light bulbs. Now that was new technology, a big deal at that time. You know, we had people all around here in the Missouri Hills coming to the cave just to see those newfangled light bulbs they've been hearing so much about. <laughs> That's so cool. We went from this to this. Today, we use LED lamps, and that helps bring out the color, the shape, and the shadow of the cave. Today, we're going to go in search of Indian Spring, where the water used to flow, where it's been flowing out. On the way, you may notice we do have stalactites running in rows across the ceiling. Uh, the bigger they are, the older they are, but there's all different generations going through there. Bet we have a question. <laughs> I bet you're right. Um, I don't know why it's so dark up there. You don't know why it's so dark? Yeah. Why would you up guess? There. Why do you think it's dark up there? How about you help me turn the lights on? <gasps> Would that help? Okay. Let's hit. Okay, when I say so, I want you to clap your hands real loud twice. You ready? One, two, three, clap. One more time. <gasps> Whoa. You did it. Yeah, and you turned off the ones behind us. Cool. Let's do it. How'd you do that? Well, I know you've got sinkholes in Florida. <laughs> Here they are in Missouri. What do you think's next, Lexus? <laughs> That's the little sinkhole. What's next? <laughs> and that's just natural formation left by the water. that is where the spring can flow now it goes underneath us on the left people also ask well what about your bats very 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 few hmm. we only have about 20 left of an endangered species called the tricolor bat it's I one know, of the cousins I'm, to the eastern hippostrill i know what's causing it white nose syndrome Nope, that's white nose syndrome, and thank goodness we don't have that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good guess, just yeah, like yeah, the ones in guess, yeah. Yeah. Now, it is a very small bat, body size about like the end of your thumb. By the way, we were a little over 90 feet underground at the well. Here were a little over 125, roughly 12 stories underground. Wow. On the right, this is where the 12 young ladies' uh, names are on the wall. Look at that. First explorers, February 27, 1867. Wow. Let's go to the mid-1960s. On a Saturday night, you would find several hundred people here in the cave wow. for a country music show. The show was called Farmer Rama. It was broadcast nationally on NBC radio. Wow. In the mid-1960s, a lot of the big name entertainers were performing here, so it was broadcast nationally. It's like a music Going this direction, that little pond, we're going to have low ceiling off and on. Clap your hands twice if we can get some lights. There you go. Good job. Low ceiling off and on the rest of the way out. Low spot. We do have a low spot on guess whose side? <laughs> And that low spot is followed by a lower spot. Really lower spot. That one, it, Alexis even has to duck from. Because the oh ceiling 
broke down. But I'm going to show you a way that you can make what we call an Ozark flashlight. Here's the photo. Wow. candles, but we believe some of them have these candle lanterns. Now, this is a good project for you to make. Mm -hmm. And look how it helps focus the light. Now, I'm going to retrace some of the path those girls took, <laughs> but this is how we see the cave today. Oh, there you go. Take all the photos of the light. Look at those columns. Oh, my goodness. Look, there's a scary face on that one. And curtains. Look at the scary face. I Is that a scary right face? There. I do yeah. see the scary face. That does look like a scary face. There, you are exactly right. There are two. And there's your cauliflower right back there. You see it? Okay, it's going to be very low on the left. I want to see if I can pull over to the right a little further. Got I'm alright, I'm, I'm basically on the floor right. here. She's laying down on the floor. <laughs> alrighty. Almost. <laughs> now when you clear this area, look off to your right. That is the uh, large... And another good photo walk, looking through the back side of that group. Oh, looking oh, at it the backwards. And you can tell this side gets more light. See a little bit of green right there? Yep. Oh, yeah. yep. Uh, basically out. Yeah. Low ceiling off and on, not under the waterfall. All right. One, two, three. Hold on. Ah, good. We made her out of there. Let me show you the original opening where the dog came in. It'll be on the extreme left corner of the mouth of the cave, right there. Oh, that wow. is the hole that the dog went in. That is where Mr. Knox went in. Oh my That's gosh. Where the 12 ladies went in. Wow. And I just happened oh. to have a photo of the last Alexis, group that look. came through. Oh my gosh. And guess what, Myra? You're in the picture. Yeah, right <laughs> yeah see that? Look she is familiar. looking right at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you those. Thank you. Awesome. Now I'm going to go shut the door. I'll be right.